Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can't Fly. We about to do this, baby. Let's go. All right, so this is both of our first fly-ins. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, so we are on our way to Hazleton Airport to do our fly-in. This is my brother, Anderson. You have met him before. I'll let him describe his clothing thing while I get myself together. Um, but we're excited. It's hot. Yes. Um, yes. So we're going to hurry up and get this tag on airplane started <laughs> so we can get some some coolness here as much as we can. So, nice. But while I'm doing this, Brother Anderson, tell them about yourself, how you got part of aviation and your company. Wow. So I have been into aviation for many years, so I would say um uh back in like in the 80s i came from trinidad trinidad yes <laughs> big up to all the trinis and yardies out there and uh my first trip from trinidad was on uh an airline called pan am and i'm basically telling my pan age, am. Man. and um they let me into the cockpit and show me like all these dials and <laughs> i was just from there i was hooked and um you know, just like I think the same sort of story for others is like you, you know, you fly simulators, mm -hmm. you go to the shows. And I think about shortly after I got married, my wife gave me a discovery flight. Uh -huh. It's actually in Trenton. And uh, I loved it. It was great. But I honestly, I didn't do anything like shortly afterwards. Okay. It wasn't until after my kids was born. And I was like, you know what? Let me go and do a flight. <laughs> Just straight out the blue. And uh, that's how basically I got into it. Wow, I mean, wow. I've been a student pilot for a couple of years. You know, COVID kind of derailed things a little bit, but for the most part, it was good. And um, almost close to finalizing my, uh, my journey with a check ride coming up soon. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Excellent, excellent. So I've just been making my way through the list. So we've got everything pretty much. We're getting ready to start this engine. I'm gonna give her some primer real quick, just so since we're the first ones to fly. Ooh. Oh yeah. Get this. It's, it's bacon. It's bacon. <laughs> All right, so we got our master on primer as required. We're gonna take throttle to about a half an inch. Clear prop. All right, let's get this master on. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Check, check, check. Got me? Yes, sir. Got you. One day I was flying, man. I forgot to put my noise canceling on. Oh, and boy. I was just like, oh man, this plane is noisy as heck. <laughs> well, the noise canceling would kind of help. I, I think that's a must. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, For all you student it. pilots out there, <laughs> it, it, it's a must. It's an absolute must. That, that, if you got to splurge on something, that's what you got to splurge on. <laughs> all right, so what I want to do now is I'm going to put Allentown approach yep. uh, 3,000 and below might be above that by Lake Nakamex and what do you yep so I am going to put 3,000 above 3,000 on 124.5 we're That's gonna do a brakes check and then we'll taxi on out for run to runway two, three, for a run up. Good? Sounds like a plan. All right, let's do a brake check. My brakes are good, your controls. Oh, hold on a second. Yep. Five lane left, downway, two, six, thousand. in. Just in case. Yep. <laughs> Just in case. All right, your controls. My controls. Your controls. Okay, brakes check. Brakes check, good. Your controls. My controls. Your controls. All right. Uh, slide this back a little bit. Okay. All right, so we're going to go on out, do this run up, and um, this is exciting. We were going to leave a little earlier, but uh, 
you know, I don't know if you guys saw the weather this morning, but it was misty and foggy as all get out. Yep. And so we had to wait because we wanted to be safe. We didn't want to get into a situation where we are in the soup. All right, so let's pull on up here. Uh, Shim all set. Yep. Do our last check. Yep. Flaps are up. Mixture is going full rich. Car heat is cold. Fuel tanks on both. Trim is set for takeoff. We're going to put on our taxi and landing light. And eh, what the hell? We put on the strobes. And. Ghost on traffic. 79 clear. 23 or something. Okay, so they're clear of the active. I don't hear anybody calling. And I think we're good to go. Ready? Yep, we're good to go. Okay, so we're going to do. So, like I said, an emergency. If I'm not making best power, I'm going to come off. If we're not off by that barren or something's not happened, pull off, going to taxi off. Yep. If we've rotated no um, no runway left, about 700. I'm going to look to the right a little bit to see if I can find that road and uh, put her down there. Use that go straight forward, but I'm just going to try to clear some obstacles. Um, and um, if we rotate it, we do we troubleshoot, look at our mixtures, all of that, try to figure out what's going on. Sounds like a plan. All right. Doors on traffic, radio check. Fine, sir. Fine, clear doors. Gotcha. Thank you, doors on traffic. Go, uh, Cessna 6086 Golf, departing runway 23, will be turning out to the northwest doors town. All right, so. There, we got him. Yep. I had to pull that out and push it back in. Gotcha, gotcha. But there's a, um, there's a little a placard down there that says that. So it is transmitting up there. All right. And we had uh, 124 for um, Island Town. Yep. Yep. Cool. Doyle's Town traffic. Okay, got 2 3. 2 3. All right, heels to the. Oh. I know it's hot as hell. <laughs> you want to keep some head. <laughs> heels to the floor, <laughs> full power. Right. All right, engine instruments in the green, suction, oil tip, oil pressure all look good. Airspeed is alive. And we are at our point of decision. And I think we're going to continue. All right. Good thing I had a co-pilot with me because I definitely should have closed that window before I got ready to take off. But as Brother Anderson said, it was so hot. I wanted to just keep some air on me. But yeah, not a good idea to take off with the window open. All right, trip that out. All right, let's do our climb checklist. So we got our mixtures where one needs to be, throttle where it needs to be. I'm gonna turn off my taxi and landing light. So it's down traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf. Right turn out to the northwest, last call, Doyle's Town. 12245, we're gonna switch that. Yeah, because it is transmitting up here, but this thing is it's no, loose or something. 8, gotcha. Now what, so that's not Lake Nakamitsu. No, what Lake, is that? So that's a smaller lake. So that's not Lake Nakamitsu. Lake Nakamitsu is actually further up north. That's so, what I figured. Yep. But I was wondering, like, what is this? Is that a so, reservoir? No, that's actually another lake. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. I don't fly 86 Golf that often, yep. but it can cook. It can. It definitely can. Does that vent open? Does your vent open? Uh, I think you can pull it out if it does. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's open. <laughs> there we go. There you go. So you can get some air over there. Two for six five. Yeah. It should be right on your uh. At your 12 o'clock, you'll start seeing like the link back the next thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Reach out to Allentown. Ah, uh, it's nice to be on this side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always on the left seat. Yeah, you can actually watch. They don't sound too busy, which is good. 0.9 or 5. Yep. Doesn't look like a whole lot of traffic in the in the way. So yeah. Good. Yeah, that's good. All right, so we are making our way up. I'm looking for my first waypoint, which is Lake Nakamixon. That will then allow me to call Allentown Approach for flight following. And you know me, I'm usually 
you know, <laughs> I usually avoid flight following, but I can't do that because I'm starting to think about working on my instrument, and that's going to be important. So, uh, but also because of the fact that we're doing this fly-in, there's going to be a lot of other pilots coming in, right? And uh, it's going to be important to make sure that we you know, have another set of eyes. I think this is the smoothest air I've had in a long time. Pretty much. Yeah, this is the smoothest. I'm not complaining. No, not at all. Not complaining at all. Not at all. Look at that. <laughs> Very well done, sir. Very well done. <laughs> and see, I'm so used to, so that's the one thing I'll say about flying uh, Little Sammy. My little favorite 152. Um, you know, you fly that, once you get into a 172 feels beefy to me. You know, most people, they fly these, these are small to them. But normally in Sammy, even like, this is like a puffer breeze. I think it's, <laughs> it's going all over the place. Uh, you're, you're a good man. I'm not sure if I could <laughs> venture out to the 150 lane. I think I've seen the 172 lane. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. All right, so my AGT looks good. Full temp oil pressure on looks good. We got good measurements there between my compass and my heading indicator. I'll dial it in a little bit better once we get into cruise. That baby girl in the front just cut, just conked out on me. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, they got, they get hot, man. When they get hot, they're just like, sorry, I got nothing for you. Allentown approach, Cessna 6086 Golf. 6086 Golf, Allentown approach. Allentown approach, Cessna Skyhawks, 6086 Golf. I'm currently overflying Lake Nakamixon. 5.1, 6.5, request flight following to Hazleton Airport, uh, Hotel Zulu Lima. 86 golf call 0437. 437. 437 for 6086 call. As you can see, we picked up flight following um, for um, from Allentown Approach. <laughs> And uh, thanks for Brother Anderson for punching in the squat code because I had messed up uh, co-pilot. Such a good thing to have. <laughs> All right, so everything is cooking. So we're just cooking along. Uh, we've got flight following. I've got everything set the way I want. We are about 43 nautical miles Approach, uh, south, uh, east of the field. And, um, so do a check for me. Are they, um, are they using 2 8 at uh, Hazleton? Uh, 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 see, this is the great thing when you have a passenger, you can put them to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like when I'm flying solo, I gotta do everything, but. Uh, Roger, I dance and say uh, where you're at, your altitude now. Yeah, she trims out nice. Uh, That's one of the things I'm definitely trying to get used to is like getting the plane trimmed out nicely. Yep. So I don't have to fight, especially as I'm moving around and looking at stuff. I saw something recently, I think it was on Sporties, uh, that, you know, if you get into engine out, you know, trim it out. Yeah. Once it's trimmed, it would pretty much fly itself. But right. that gives you the opportunity to, you know, kind of look around, make sure, you know, do your checks. Check like your engine, things of that nature. All that good stuff. Yeah. And one thing that people don't realize is that, you know, you might hear a lot more on the radios just because flight following, I got to be listening. So it's more about the flying than the video, but. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, man, I really appreciate that you, uh, you know, decide to come with a brother. Yes, man, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'm hoping to do a lot more of this with you. Yeah. Shout out to Rusk and Fly <laughs> for letting me tag along. <laughs> Absolutely, and I'm hoping to fly more people, you know, and do a lot more of this type of stuff. Oh yeah, and also uh, check out Linder yeah. Boulevard Aviation. Uh, basically, the the premise behind it is basically really cool designs. So I'm wearing uh, one of my shirts right now. I also have a hat. Um, it has the Philly love theme because you know we. Philly, love. Philadelphia, <laughs> in the house. So, uh, but the the other part of it is also adding some aviation to it. So, uh, been uh, getting a lot of love in regards to that. So, 
uh, between uh, Midlife uh, Pilot, shout out to Midlife Pilot, right now, um, Ruskin Fly and a few others, they've been rocking my shirt, so I appreciate it. And all the other, uh, you know, entrepreneurs in, in aviation um, that's doing their thing, you know, shout out to you guys. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I mean, and I think that's the thing I, I mean, there's so many things I love about the, AVV, the aviation community, but I definitely love the entrepreneurial spirit um, I'm not going to lie to you. I am not the type of person that sees himself as an entrepreneur. I'm comfortable with the nine to five <laughs> mindset. But as I get older and I do this more, um, I'm understanding that more, the freedom, you know, to determine, you know, how you engage and what you engage, what your product is, what is your platform. Right, right. Um, it's, it's all about, you know, expanding the love and, and sharing the knowledge, you know, especially to the younger generation, which, you know, to me has been amazing because uh, at least in Doylestown, it, I'm just thrilled to see the amount of young folks that just, you know, climbing into that cockpit, that left side, and, um, you know, just doing it. There's actually a 16-year-old that just recently soloed, you know, so which is amazing to me. And the thing I, you know, the, my platform, you know, this is all about just being an ambassador, um, making sure that people see that this is for everybody. Um, and just because you see, you know, two brothers in here, we have brothers of every shade, yep. you know, of every background. Um, and that's the thing, you know, and, you know, that's the thing that I love is being part of a community that is really wide open, you know what I mean? Um, and people are, you know, deliberate about, you know, it being wide open. So I really, yeah, you know, appreciate. Yeah. And that's why I appreciate all of the folks who follow me, you know, Ruskin Fly and all this kind of stuff. That's the whole point of all of this, you know. So. Oh, absolutely. All right, so just doing a scan, making sure I'm on course, making sure I keep my altitude. And the one thing I will say is that when you have flight following, they're watching you. So oh, yeah. I can't get lazy with my altitude because they will definitely let me know. Hey, uh, 86 Golf, uh, you're at 65, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will uh, give you a little nudge. Exactly. <laughs> As I like to say, a little nudge. A little nudge. But it is gorgeous up here. Look at that. I know. I know. It's just beautiful. And that's the thing, you know, I, I, that's why I want to share this because people don't realize that there's more to flying than the airlines, you know, and there's so much to see. And you talk about, you know, being able to see scenery, you know, so you go up into the Sears Tower, but we see that every time we fly, you know what I mean? Yeah, and more. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you look out here, this ridge out here. This ridge is notorious for bouncing me oh, around. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So we'll see what this does today. But Absolutely. So one of the things I'm noticing on my fourth flight is there's a bunch of people flying our same direction. They're a little lower, but I wonder if those folks are also going to... Uh, exactly. And I, you know, I anticipate that uh, we may be... Uh, a number of aircraft in <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so it's been a while since I've been in ASOC's in six golf, but she flies really nicely. Yep. Usually I fly a uh, Diner 279er when I'm in a 172. I try to get in the Alpha Uniform, but everybody and their grandmother tries to fly. Oh, between that. Alpha Uniform and uh, Sierra Papa. Yes. So the, we have the 172 Sierra Papa, which is like forever yep. booked. <laughs> yep. I mean, it is nice. It is a nice airplane, but it's... If you uh, if you're trying to fly, it, you better book it yeah. weeks in advance. Weeks in advance. Well, that's why when somebody said about this flying, I think I booked four tango whiskeys. I think I booked this plane like at least three weeks ahead. You know. So, what do you have left to do? Outtown approach lights for one zero two Victor. Get your uh, license. Question. Honestly, this, uh, yeah, I'm uh, I think the two, three yeah, hours yeah, of the check ride prep, prep okay. um, which I uh, uh, schedule some time with my uh, CF5 for some ground school, you know, just uh, mock and work on some of the maneuvers a little bit, but that's basically it.
So within a month or so? Definitely sometime this summer. Yeah, definitely sometime this summer. Okay. I know it's been, uh, I've seen the, uh, the DPE uh -huh. on site and not at least three times. So <laughs> that means a lot of people are, you know, trying to book and, uh, their, their check rides. Invisibility yeah. one yeah. Yeah. So. Clear. Roger, thank you. One, two, three, I, I would say there's a, since I had the platform, for all you student pilots out there, and I'm a little, little inside, one, two, five, four, two, inside two, background two, three, for me. Two, um, so I'm, I'm a dad, you know, twins. Ooh. Uh, yeah, five year olds. Oh. You know, still got the nine to five and still doing this on the side. <laughs> and I, I would say this to any of those student pilots out there, especially, you know, my age or even women too. It, don't get frustrated, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a journey, it's definitely a journey, and I know you want to finish up and, and get that ticket and fly, but sometimes it's just like, you know, you just got to go with it, and it took me a long time to kind of realize that, but I'm comfortable in this space now, where I'm just like, okay, I'm close to it, and I'm, I'm making progress, and that's basically what it is, is make progress. Yeah, now that's great advice, because um, I've seen... You know, too many people get frustrated. Now, I mean, there is a financial um, oh, absolutely. component to it, so I can see if that gets be to become a difficulty. But, you know, barring that, I mean, and even there's some workarounds there, but barring that, the most important thing is just don't give up. Yep. Just keep after it, you know. You guys saw my journey from beginning to end. I mean, and it took two years. Um, and unfortunately, COVID kind of showed up during right. that time. Right. And, um, you know, a lot of the training that I took, I lost because this is about the feel. And so when I got back in after like three months off, there was a lot that I had to remember. Like a lot of that muscle memory was gone. Yep. Oh, absolutely. And, and watching your videos was inspiring too because it was just like, oh, he's going through the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, steep turns and all sorts of stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> those, those are Bane and Mind <laughs> So as luck would have it, um, you know, all three cameras decided to die before we got there and landed. So it's just crazy. These daggone GoPros. I will tell you, anybody who invents a camera that doesn't die, you'll make a bazillion dollars. But anyway, we made it to Hazleton. Uh, my landing was okay. And as you can see, they're showing us where to taxi off. So since this video is getting a little long, I am going to uh, end it here. Uh, but of course, this flight uh, journey continues. Um, so in part two of this journey our first fly-in with brother anderson i'm um, going to show you a little bit of the fly-in and then brother anderson um is going to fly us back to doylestown so i thank you guys for taking this flight with us sorry if this is a little long but you know there was just a lot of good stuff to see um there was still more footage but i just thought you know i would end it here and i just i couldn't believe as i was said in this video none of the cameras captured the landing so sorry about that so no cueing of music none of that but anyway um yep we made it safe and we landed all right, so we made it. This camera is getting ready to die because the battery is low, but we made it. So <laughs> we <laughs> welcome made it. to Hazleton Airport. Um, so this is going to be part one. Uh, part two, you're going to get to see this gentleman flies back. Uh, so thank you for watching. Russ Kid, Russ can fly. We're out. Peace. Peace.